642 is your voice, your station, and right now we're investigating concerns from neighbors about Bluestone Coke. We told you last month how the company announced it is pausing production here in Birmingham until April of 2022. Well, Bluestone's also currently in a legal battle with the Jefferson County Board of Health over air regulation violations. Tonight, we're taking our investigation further, looking into who owns Bluestone Coke and showing our efforts to talk to them. CBS 42 investigative reporter Chloe Vicente joins us now with a story. Good evening. This is West Virginia Governor Jim Justice. Now you might be wondering what he has to do with a Coke plant here in Birmingham. Governor Justice and his family actually have a pretty big hand in the coal industry, not just in West Virginia, but here in Alabama too. The governor's website here says they own Bluestone Resources, the company that operates Bluestone Coke. The governor's son, Jay Justice, was appointed the CEO. Right now, Bluestone Coke doesn't have a business license. And if you remember from our report in September, the plan is also under fire from the Jefferson County Department of Health for air regulation violations. Neighbors who live nearby believe when Bluestone Coke was operating, it was making them sick and fear that will continue if the plant resumes production in the spring. It just woke me up out of my sleep because I couldn't catch my breath due to the smell. When Amanda Doctor moved to North Birmingham back in June, she says it didn't take long before she noticed something wasn't right with the air she's breathing. My asthma is kicking in more. I have to be on my breathing machine every night now. You believe since you've moved here, your health conditions have gotten worse. Yes, it really have. Doctor blames the emissions from Bluestone Coke, which is right next to her neighborhood. The plant uses coal to produce foundry coke. Eric Herod, who lives right across the street from Bluestone, showed us how the soot collects on his cars. Soot, he believes, is from Bluestone Coke. He's even more worried about what it's doing to his lungs. I don't know what I'm breathing, all that contamination over there. It's just a lot of stuff, man. Greater Birmingham Alliance to Stop Pollution's Executive Director Michael Hansen says neighbors here in North Birmingham call them with alarming concerns, fearing for their lives. Residents have been telling us for years about the health impacts, ranging from asthma attacks all the way to cancer and death. According to court documents, the Jefferson County Department of Health says Bluestone was violating several regulations put in place to protect the air quality and people's health. To see the health department finally come out with some strong actions, we're totally in support of that and thankful for it. GASP has successfully intervened into the civil suit against Bluestone Coke, hoping to get justice for the residents. In addition to the health concerns, we confirmed Bluestone Coke doesn't have a business license. According to the Birmingham Tax and License Division and Jefferson County Revenue Department, the company does not have an active business license in the city or county. Over the last several months, CBS 42 has reached out dozens of times by phone and email, requesting an interview with Bluestone Coke officials and Bluestone Resources owner, West Virginia Governor Jim Justice. All of those requests were either denied or unanswered. We even joined this Zoom press conference for Governor Justice back in late October, and we were removed from the call before we had the chance to ask questions. So then we went to Alabama Governor Kay Ivey to see if she's aware of what another governor is doing in her state. West Virginia <laughs> Governor Jim Justice is operating Bluestone Coke in Birmingham without a Bluestone Coke in Birmingham without a business license and with health violations. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I certainly don't have any details on that. Uh, best you check with the company and uh, what is it you said in Birmingham. Do you think we should be holding him accountable? He's the governor of West Virginia. Well, everybody needs to be held accountable. And accountability is exactly what neighbors in North Birmingham are asking for, saying their health is on the line. Bluestone should take the time. Walk. Walk around and look what you are doing. 
According to the Jefferson County Department of Health, the plant is currently in a cold idle, meaning they aren't producing any coke. In a press release, Bluestone officials said back in October they plan to continue operations in April 2022. They promised to make upgrades to their facility that will increase safety, but haven't shared the specifics on how that will happen. It's also important to mention here there are two separate court proceedings involving Bluestone Coke and the Jefferson County Board of Health. According to these court documents, there's an administrative action concerning the health department's decision to deny Bluestone Coke an operating permit. A hearing for that was scheduled for December 8th, but these new court documents from today show Bluestone's lawyer is trying to get that date moved. There's also a civil suit where the Jefferson County Board of Health is seeking money for Bluestone's violations. A trial for that is scheduled for November 2022. Stay with CBS 42 as we continue to push for answers. Back to you. Chloe, thank you. Now, the Wall Street Journal has been looking into Bluestone Coke as well. And right now on CBS42.com, you can watch Chloe's interview with them on Bluestone's resources, finances, and Governor Jim Justice's debts. If you have a concern in your community, email us at yourvoice at CBS42.com or send us a message on Facebook or Twitter.